made landfall last evening as a Category 1 event. Much of the wheeling out west is about big rocks, wide open desert, and alpine forests high up in the mountains. Of course, there's a whole lot more to America than just that, and for those who live out east of the Rockies, they get to play in something a little different. Even though the region had been suffering from one of the worst droughts in history, a little old storm called Hurricane Isaac decided to roll in just ahead of us and when you add a little water to the trails out in the heartland, you get a thing called mud. The rain. Out in the heartland, rain is to jeepers what snow is to skiers, and as luck would have it, that's exactly what we got as soon as we pulled into Terre Haute, Indiana, the start of the 2012 JK Experience. Check in for the 2012 JK Experience. So Randy's the only person who's been here all four years, so very nice to Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pessimist thinks that oh we're still gonna God. get some more rain. Oh, yeah. We're thinking it's not gonna rain anymore. We're off. Oh, no worries. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to change the tradition from American honey to Aura Serra Tequila. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Experience. Cheers. Woo. There be no more rain. <laughs> It's going to be a wet one. <laughs> the likelihood of us being in uh, knee deep mud is very likely, right? Yeah, I'm going to take my green shoes off. Oh, okay. So, brown shoes what, when it comes to the point where um, Dave looks over and she says, hey, it looks like uh, we need to pull some lines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eddie. <laughs> Seriously, what? What in the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm uh, waterproofing the boots. If if we get into mud, who knows? First day, man. I really appreciate everybody coming out. We got a lot of good four wheeling for today. We're gonna drive about 30 miles south 
and we're going to be wheeling at Redbird. Discount tire provided lunch today. We're really uh, mud virgins living in California. We don't get a lot of mud. So we really don't know what to expect, but we're probably going to make some of the videos for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Well, I've traveled a little over 17,000 miles in the last four days. I seem to have picked up uh, some kind of bug. So, uh, Rockstar Robitussin, it's gonna fix everything. Welcome to Indiana. If you don't like the weather here, just wait five minutes, it'll change. Nobody's been out here this morning. It's been raining for the last couple days. We got about six inches of rain. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
could see huge chunks of mud flying everywhere. Just a slow slide into I'm actually resting on this tree right now. <laughs> Couldn't do anything about it. I'm like, it just boop. I'm like, ah. We're gonna try to winch it out the front. We're gonna run a snatch block off the tree there, 90 degree, to pull me sideways away from the tree. <laughs> we having fun anyway. But it's slippery. After a long day out in the slick stuff, we made our way over to Bloomfield, home of High Lift Jack, and where its owner graciously took us into his home, offered us an awesome barbecue dinner, and gave us a chance to get cleaned up. Now, why we needed to get cleaned up was a mystery to us, but it was something that Mel insisted upon before we could move on. <laughs> 